Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Mrs. Anand, retired professor from Niskir CSIR. Today I am going to talk on the module on shelving, maintenance and preservation. This belongs to paper on library management. After studying this unit, you will be able to shelve library material, identify types of shelves and stacking methods, arrange books, periodicals, and other types of library material. To maintain and take care of library material, differentiate between preservation and conservation, and know the techniques for preserving and prolonging the life of library material. Library material, as you know, is acquired, processed, and displayed on the shelves for all types of libraries for their, for their respective users. In order to attract and encourage the users to use the library collection effectively, it is essential that the material is aesthetically displayed, orderly arranged, and kept in good physical condition. This work is carried out by the maintenance department of the library. Maintenance work involves shelving, reshelving, maintaining orderly arrangement of the collection, and taking care of all types of library material and associated equipment. In fact, the ultimate success of all other functions of library, such as acquisition, classification, cataloging, are dependent on upon, upon efficiency of the maintenance work. If library collection is not properly displayed and maintained, it will not attract the library users and ultimately tars the image of the library. This module deals with shelving, maintenance, and preservation of library material. Arranging books and other material on the library shelves is known as shelving. Shelf work is physical maintenance of the stacks and involves sorting, shelving, shifting, and shelf reading. Material to be shelved vary in greatly in size and shape, ranging from very large atlases and maps to small books, film strips, pamphlets, periodicals, audiovisual material, microform, CD-ROM, DVDs, and so forth. Correct shelving of various types and sizes of the stock is imperative if the items are to be to remain in good physical condition. The library material to be shelved comes from number of sources, such as new books and other material received after processing, borrowed books returned by the users after use, and books and other material used by the readers and left on the table. According to the access to the library material on the shelf, the library may have closed access system or open access system. Let's study in detail how this work is carried out in the library. Library material is acquired, processed, and shelved by the libraries for their users. The material is orderly arranged, aesthetically displayed, and kept in good physical condition. This work is done by maintenance department. Maintenance department is responsible for shelving of collection, maintenance of collection, and preservation of collection. Arranging books and other material on the library shelves is known as shelving. The work involves sorting, shelving, Reshelving, shifting, shelf reading, dusting, and cleaning the stacks and the collection. The library material to be shelved are new books and other material received after processing, reshelving of borrowed books returned by the users, and books and other materials left on the table after reading. The shelved collection is kept under closed access system or open access system. 
in closed access system the library users are not permitted to enter the stack room area library staff search and bring the books required by the readers this system has many disadvantages firstly if book is not available then there is no facility to browse the collection and select an alternative as there is no browsing facility and collection is not put to maximum use thirdly the library staff is staff's valuable time is wasted in searching and bringing books required by the user in open access system the library users are permitted to enter the stack room area to browse the collection and select the items the system has many advantages browsing the collection helps the user to select other books also the collection is also put to better use it saves the time of the library staff as well in searching and bringing the books the only disadvantage of open access system is that users may displace and miss handle the collection shelving arrangements library arranging books according to the classification scheme in use in the library this helps the books on the same subject to be placed together there are two types of arrangement for the convenience of the user that is broken order arrangement and parallel arrangement in broken order arrangement library deviates from shelving the entire collection according to class number for example in public library the fiction books do have class number but are arranged alphabetically by author's name and not by class number this is done because of the convenience of the library users who go for fic- fiction books by author's name in parallel arrangement a library has more than one sequence for non fiction non fiction stock as well for example reference books which are not issued to the library members are shelved separately from the lending stock sometimes textbooks and oversized books are also shelved separately from the normal sized books type of stacks and stacking methods there are wide range of racks available in the market for shelving and storage of library material all these racks within the library are collectively called as stacks the type of stacks and stacking methods may vary from library to library some of the commonly available racks are fixed shelves with double rows hinged shelves cantilever style shelving stacks k style shelving stacks compact shelving stacks rolling stacks and multi tier stacks let's study characteristics of each stack and their use in the library hinged shelf here two shelves are joined with hinges on one side and one shelf is fixed and other is mounted in front of the hinges cantilever style shelving stacks cantilever style shelving stacks are also known as bracket shelving units and are made up of steel the unit comprises two upright metal support columns with slots for fixing the shelves it is supported by load bearing base structure the shelves are attached in series of slots running the length of upright the slots permits permit shelves to be easily adjusted to place the material of varying heights the shelves can be bracket attached to form a single faced or double faced shelving unit in double faced shelving unit shelves are hung on both the sides in single faced shelving unit shelves are hung on one side 
at the unit is placed against the wall. This type of shelving stacks are most commonly used stacks by the libraries as these are flexible, strong and cost effective. Case style shelving system. Case style shelving system uses full vertical unit from floor to top and also has adjustable shelves that fit into these vertical units. Case style shelving unit has close and base assembly and a canopy top. Case style shelving units give finished appearance and are used in places where aesthetic is more important than the cost efficiency. Called high density movable isol. Compact shelving is set of stacks that ride on movable carriages over rails installed on the floor. They can be operated manually or by motorized drive system. This type of shelving is used by libraries which have space problem. Compact shelving stacks eliminates the need to keep open spaces for isles in between the shelving units. Rolling stacks. These are metal stack units mounted on ball bearing wheels placed side by side. Multi-tire stacks. This type of stacking system consists of stacks from floor to the roof. The system is constructed with self-supporting metal frame extending from basement to the roof and designed to carry the weight of the books, book load with the weight of the deck floor. Shelving of books. Books on the shelves are arranged by their class number. Before shelving, books are sorted out into workable lots according to their call number and shelf location. Then each lot is carried to the shelf location by hands if lot is small or by book trolley if it is very big. While shelving the books, it is made sure that all the books stand straight on the shelf by aligning all spines even with the edge of the shelf. Here you can see range of trolleys available for carrying books. You can select any of any one of these. While shelving the books, it is made sure that all the books stand straight on the shelf by aligning all spines even with the edge of the shelf. All the books are shifted to the left side of the shelf and held together with the book support. Books should be held together in such a way that it is easier to remove a book from the shelf by holding the middle of the book spine and taking, the, taking out the book without disturbing adjacent books. Shelving and display of periodicals. Libraries display latest issues of periodical in the general reading room or have a separate reading room where periodicals are kept and displayed. Periodical racks are used for displaying periodicals. These display racks are of three types. Step, by, step type display racks, pigeonhole type display racks and incline type display rack. Let's see how each one of these look. In step type display rack, periodicals are displayed step wise. There are four or five steps in each rack and on each step, four or five periodicals can be displayed. In this type of display system, there is no provision to store back issues of periodicals. Pigeonhole type display racks. Pigeonhole type display rack is a box type of rack which has two parts. One being a cupboard at the bottom and the upper part has rows of pigeonholes which are one feet deep. In the pigeonholes, current issues of periodicals are kept. 
cupboard is used for storing back issues of periodicals. Disadvantage of this system is that periodicals cannot be displayed properly because they are kept in the pigeon holes. Incline type display rack. Incline type of display rack is a box type of rack with number of horizontal shelves each covered with a wooden plank with an incl inclination to the shelf plank. Shelves are partitioned into pigeon holes. Each hole is provided with a wooden support where current issues of periodicals are kept. Back issues of periodicals are kept in the pigeon holes by lifting the wooden support. Shelving of newspapers and non-print media. Current issues of newspapers are displayed on the newspaper racks in the reading room. Back issues of newspapers present storage problem due to poor quality of paper used. This paper becomes yellow and brittle with passage of time. At present, back issues of newspapers are either microfilmed or digitized for storage and archival purposes. Non-print media like films, audio cassettes, video cassettes, CD-ROMs, DVDs, etc. are shelved separately and away from open stack area. This material is normally kept in media room or computer room where the equipment for playing particular media item is available. The material is susceptible to damage caused by dust, scratching, mishandling, etc. by the library users. Therefore, in most of the libraries, this material is kept in closed access and special display racks are available for displaying this media. Maintenance of collection. Maintenance of collection is one of the important tasks in the library. It involves continuous monitoring of stack rooms and display area. Shelf rectification is a process of restoring order among the books on the shelves. It comprises shelf reading, shifting and shelf straightening. Shelf reading means checking the arrangement of books and other material in the stacks to ensure that each item is at its proper place on the shelf and rearranging any material which is out of order. When shelves become overcrowded due to addition of new material, shifting is required. Major shifting is carried out occasionally. But books are moved from shelf to shelf to create needed space. This process is known as shelf easing. When books are taken out for reading and borrowing for borrowing purposes, it creates gaps between the books on the shelves and they start leaning on the shelves. This requires straightening, shelf straightening. Library sign boards and stack room guides systems are checked periodically and are replaced if found missing or damaged by the maintenance department. Stock taking or stock verification is physical checkup of the library collection. This is carried out annually or once in two to three years. Reading. Weeding is removal of books from open stack area. Weeding is done when some books become outdated or are superseded with the arrival of new edition or gets damaged beyond repair. Simple repair of books such as repair of torn pages or damaged spine is undertaken, undertaken by the maintenance staff. Binding of books and periodicals are carried out to safeguard them against wear and tear due to usage. Some libraries have in-house binding facility. 
in some libraries binding job is carried out is outsourced to an outside agency preservation of library collection in library context the term preservation means to keep the library collection both published as well as unpublished and in all the formats in accessible form as long as possible it covers all the activities that are carried out to preserve the library material whereas conservation is the treatment of artifacts such as manuscript rare books work of art or museum objects by intervention to prolong their life in their original form preservation of library collection international effort at international level international federation of library association has set up set up ifla park network to address this issue the network has international centers and regional centers international center is located at ifla headquarter it is responsible for suggesting and implementing a global strategy on preservation of cultural heritage worldwide and its regional centers which are in 14 in number are responsible for preservation of library and archival material in their respective regions preservation activities in india in india National Library Kolkata has four divisions exclusively devoted to preservation and conservation activities. Two divisions are for physical and chemical conservation, third is for reprographic preservation, and fourth is for digitization. Conservation centers of ICCI, Indian Council of Cultural Institutes, has been established for preservation and conservation of decaying art heritage of india its first conservation center was established in lucknow in 1985 now icci has seven such centers located in different parts of india there are internal as well as external causes of deterioration of library material so preservation activities are carried out to pre- prevent this deterioration internal causes of deteriorations are due to the nature of library material itself on which information is recorded library material may be paper based film based or magnetic media or optical media each material is susceptible to, susceptible to deterioration paper based library material contains organic material like paper cloth animal skin adhesives etc which undergo natural aging process acidic nature of the paper causes more deterioration acid free paper is safe three basic type of photographic materials used as support material for making film based media are cellulose nitrates cellulose acetate and polyester cellulose nitrate and cellulose acetate are unstable these material decompose emitting gases even at room temperature cellulose nitrate becomes highly inflammable in deteriorated condition only polyester based films are safe in magnetic media adhesive binders used in tape undergo deterioration through hydrolysis and oxidation thus causing loss of data cd roms and dvds deteriorate on bending the disc or touching or scratching the disc surface with any sharp object external causes of deterioration environmental causes of deterioration are due to light heat high temperature and relative humidity 
and polluted air containing dust, dirt and microorganism. Insects and pests feed on the library material and can cause permanent damage. Poor handling and storage of library material by the staff and misuse by the users also result in deterioration. Theft of any library material leads to permanent loss. Vandalism is act of destroying valuable things on purpose. Vandalism includes damage to the library building, including material due to mob, fury or war. Natural disorders may occur due to floods, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, sandstorms or hurricanes. Man-made disasters are because of fire, water leakage or act of war or terrorism. Preventive measures. There is an old saying, prevention is better than cure. Same holds true for library material. The preventive measures which include all form of action taken to prolong the life Library, life of library collection should be followed. This includes keeping the environment clean and dust free, protection from sunlight, keeping the temperature and humidity under control, and proper handling, storage, and security of the library collection. Preserving the intellectual content of the document to another durable format is known as reformatting. There are three main reformatting processes. Photocopying, microfilming and digitizing. Photocopying is useful for replacing missing pages or damaged pages of the book or periodicals before binding. Microfilming. Microfilms occupy less space, are more durable, can be economically created and distributed. Microfilms can also be digitized if good quality film has been used. Digitizing. Digitizing provides an image which can be reproduced many times with no loss in quality. High quality user copy can be provided. Digital image do not decay with use. To sum up, in this module, we have covered shelving, maintenance, and preservation of library collection. In most of the library, the work relating to shelving, display, and maintenance of library collection is carried out by the maintenance section. The work involves shelving, reshelving, and maintaining orderly arrangement of the shelves and taking care of the stored as well as displayed collection in print and in other formats. Most of the libraries arrange books in classified order. This makes the books on the same subject to be placed together for easy browsing by the user. In public library, fiction books are arranged alphabetically by author's name and within the same order alphabetically by the title of the book. A wide range of stacks and stacking methods are available. The main criteria for the selection of stacks should be that the stacks should be robust, durable and have adjustable flanks. The height of the shelves unit should be selected on the basis of the material to be shelved and the target users. Preservation of library material is another activity which has attracted worldwide attention. International Federation for Library Association has Preservation and Conservation Network which addresses this issue. It comprises an international center which is a focal point responsible for implementing a global strategy, strategy on preservation of cultural heritage worldwide. And it has regional centers, which are 14 in number, who are responsible for preservation of library material and archival material in their respective regions. 
causes of deterioration of library materials can be internal or external internal causes of deterioration of library material are due to the nature of the library material itself on which the information is recorded such as paper films magnetic tapes cd roms dvds etc external causes of deterioration are due to the environment in which the material is kept insects pests and rodents poor handling and storage natural and man made disasters well there is an old saying that the prevention is better than cure same holds true for sci- science of preservation the prevented preventive measures which include all form of action taken to prolong the life of library collection should be followed this includes keeping the environment clean and dust free protection from sunlight keeping the temperature and humidity under control and proper handling and security of the collection in most of the library the maintenance work is carried out by the maintenance department libraries arrange books on the shelves by their class number this makes the books on the same subject to be placed together for easy browsing <music>